Well, good morning to you. We're here on Flinders Island, North Queensland. And today we are going to look at a cave that's supposedly got Aboriginal artwork on it. Um, we'll jump over there in the dinghy and we'll go and see what that is. Then we'll come back here, load the dinghy and cruise up 60 miles further up the coast to a place called Morris Island. It's going to be a good day. This is the Mad Dash. Learning by Doing presents The Mad Dash. Watch us every Tuesday morning on YouTube. Join me and multiple crew members as I take our Crowley catamaran from Sydney, Australia all the way up around the top to Lombok in Indonesia. Made possible by our patrons. Thank you very much, you guys, and also our sponsors here on board for this trip. Thanks so much, guys. So yesterday, we sailed from Lizard Island up to here. I uh, didn't really film anything much, but... Um, just wasn't really feeling like it and it wasn't really anything spectacular happened it wouldn't have made a good video anyway but the high point was that it was 80 miles it's our longest leg so far and we we did it in eight and a half nine hours seas were pretty flat wind was pretty low and we were just cruising along the boat just wants to go north we were coming along for the ride that's pretty much it we don't have to do anything it just goes so easy we were sort of sitting there going like this is cheating we just we were sort of doing 10s 11s 12s in between back to eights just didn't change the sails all day, just round along. Too easy. This is truly amazing here. I've never seen um, Aboriginal art uh, drawings like this. I've only seen a few, like we haven't really gone and seen many. We haven't been up in the north areas before. And this is incredible though, the uh, amount of different pictures here on the walls. And you know, there's multiple layers of them. You can see where they've, you know, crocodiles over top of a, a turtle and another one behind that. So you can see the, the time frames that they've been doing drawings here it's just incredible and some of them look like they were done yesterday one of them apparently um, the really newest looking one it was from 1940 so you know quite old still but it looks just like brand new as a dugong but really really cool to see this like the time they must have spent here just hanging out in these caves here I mean it's perfectly sheltered it's a beautiful spot to hang out for sure pretty incredible though this we're just we're like 150 miles from the nearest town and um, I'm just sort of out here experiencing this really really cool highlight and yeah just to think we could have been like oh it's sort of you know let's let's get the anchor up and get moving I'm so stoked we took the time out to make this little adventure so yeah we're off out sailing down the channel here in between Stanley Island and Flinders Island here and that was like a great little stay we didn't even expect that we thought we'd just get here 4 30 yesterday anchor get up and leave I went over to the beach over there and there's a little signpost and there was actually something written in the guidebook about these um, Aboriginal caves over this on Stanley Island. So yeah, amazing, amazing little bonus uh, visit here. And we'll um, yeah, so show some sailing for the rest of the day. We've got about 60 miles to go now. I'm not sure, what's the time, John? You got any idea? Quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Well, that worked out pretty good. We, I sort of thought we'd go over there at 6.30 and be back at the boat at 8.30 and it worked out perfect. So we should still get up to Morris Island, it's a little sand key uh, on a reef. We should still get up there well before sunset, if there's, if there's enough wind. But I sort of feel like with this boat, even if there's not much wind, we're still going to do sevens. Alright, we've just had breakfast and uh, cruising along but it's pretty slow. Right now we're only doing five knots. We've sort of been doing six and seven but... There's only six and a half knots of apparent wind as well. Very uh, gentle, but we sort of need to be going a bit faster than this. So I'm going to put up the spinnaker, I think. We'll see. There's still not much wind, but I don't know how much good it will do, but we should get another knot out of it. And there's no squalls around, so it's pretty safe today. Uh, we're pretty much dead downwind, though, so let's see how that goes. We might have to 
get out on a bit of an angle, but anyway, we'll try and show you setting that up. Right, well we were sailing with the screecher, so first things first, furl that thing away. Then loosen the screecher halyard a little bit, unhook the screecher from the bottom of the bowsprit, and then hook the screecher onto the bottom of the jib, retension it, and that's that out of the way. Next thing is to hook the tack onto the end of the bowsprit line, bring down the halyard for the spinnaker, hook that onto the top of the spinnaker, and then pull that up in its sock. Next, John ran the sheets back through a pulley on the back of the boat up to the winches and then he was ready to pull the sheet on. I untangled the dousing lines on the sock and then slowly pulled the sock up and uh, filled up with air and off we went. Spinnaker sailing. Just when we got the spinnaker up, the wind shifted round about 80 degrees from dead downwind nearly. So yeah, we're on a beam reach now. And it's still only light wind though, so we can't really... Well, we're just, we're just going with it. We've turned down... 10 degrees down, further downwind, and we can go with this for a little bit longer. But it's a funny smell in the air today. There's a lot of uh, algae, brown algae strips in the water. So I've sailed through this stuff before. It's an algal bloom, something like that, but we've never seen it this thick, so I decided to throw up the drone, and man, I'm so stoked I did. From above, it just looks absolutely mind-blowing, as you can see. Just crazy. I was in awe flying this drone around. Now I'm a commercial photographer by trade, but I'm not really in the business of selling prints. But this one, this print, this photo that I got by the drone, I thought some of you might be interested in, in having this for your walls. It's an absolute stunner of an image. To me it sort of looks like a boat sailing across a desert. It's, it's a lot of depth in it. The, high, the white parts sort of stand out from the black parts. So you can see the, the tracks of the hulls twisting and turning through the, through the, well it's algae obviously but you don't know that from the photo. It's, to me it's a really abstract but mystical sort of thing but it's all brought back to the reality by a boat, a sailing boat. Like to me it's an absolute stunner of an image and yeah I hope some of you would appreciate this and want to hang this on the wall. I'll be printing super limited editions of this. I'll be printing 10 at 67 by 50 centimeters and 10 at 40 by 30. Now there's the inches below. I'll be printing this on a super high quality archival paper called Hanamuli Photo Rag. It's basically a cotton paper. Amazing looking in black and white. All of these prints will be numbered and signed by me. And these things are going to look amazing, guys. Send me an email and I can have one of these shipped out to you, guaranteed before Christmas. I'd love to see some of these hanging on your walls, guys. A couple of days ago, it was my birthday. I'm feeling good about it. So I'm going to give one of these prints away. All you have to do to win this print is send me an email telling me why I should send it to you. Looking forward to hearing these stories, guys. Well, we're soon arriving at our destination, Morris Island. Had an amazing last three hours, maybe. Really uh, perfect sailing conditions, just dead flat water. About 16 to 18 knots at 50 to 60 degrees. And just carving along. The boat's going so well. So I guess we'll pull down the sails in a minute and pull in behind this tiny little one tree hill. It's just a tiny little sand cave with one coconut tree. I'll fly the drone probably at sunset and get you a couple of shots, but it's just a little calm anchorage for the night. Been an awesome day. Caught a mackerel. Actually caught another one. You want to tell me about that? Where's your fish? <laughs> well, my fish, uh, I got hooked like two minutes after Vernon pulled his in and uh, reeling it in. It got right to the uh, scoop and shook the hook out of its mouth and disappeared. But it was, it was a good It was a massive result. one too. Yeah, massive. it was like, like that big. <laughs> I just have to believe you. The one that got away.
Which one? Well, you get you get to choose. This one is a uh, XPA, and the other one's an XPA. Oh, this is Mr. Pirate, though. Yeah. I think that's oh, the part. That was one that was like, uh, yeah, I think you like that one. All right, yeah. I'll take that one. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we had an awesome day sailing, having a quiet beer on the beach at sunset. Beautiful dinghy down here, loving that. And uh, Trade Runner is just killing it. We've not broken anything, been pushing it relatively hard. But uh, she's just solid as. This is what it needed, a good old shakedown. Yeah, awesome day. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. We had a good time making it, actually. This was pretty much the perfect cruising day. Mm. Awesome adventure in the morning. Bit of cultural awareness. And then uh, a good sail. Caught a fish. Awesome anchorage. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was uh, a real pleasure to make this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, thanks patrons very much again from the bottom of my heart and Marie says hi to you all as well from France. Um, we're offline a bit at the moment for this leg, but um, by the time you see this video, I'll probably be what, further down the track somewhere. But um, yeah, we're enjoying the trip and uh, John's got a few more, few more days on board. Gets off in Thursday Island, probably what, another four days? Yeah. Well, no, this time, sailing. this time tomorrow, this time next week, you'll be back in Sydney. Yeah. 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 Back yeah. at work. Back at work. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. See you next week. We're probably stopping at a pretty interesting island next week. Um, we've heard talk of this island, little island further up, called Resurrection, res Restitution, Resolution, res Reinvention. I don't know. It's something like that. Restoration. Restoration. But there's an 80-year-old man living there that's been living there for about 30 or 40 years. So we're going to go and visit him and get his story. So we'll bring you that next week anyway. See you guys. Bye-bye. See you.